Two more animals have died at a marine theme park in Niagara Falls, Ontario. The province says a beluga whale and a dolphin have both died at marine land, and animal activists are now calling for the park's owners to be held to account. Megan Fitzpatrick, right at the entrance to that well-known spot, recreational spot, tourist attraction. Megan, what do we know this morning about what's happened there? Well, Heather, Marineland hasn't responded to CBC's request for comment, but we do have confirmation of the deaths of these two animals from the Ontario government, from the Ministry of the Solicitor General. And Marineland did provide a statement to local media here uh, to the Niagara Falls Review newspaper. And that report uh, says that it was a 26-year-old dolphin named Sonar and a 28-year-old beluga whale that died last week. Um, the dolphin was among four dolphins here at the park. And the beluga whale among 36 beluga whales here at this tourist attraction and uh, marine land telling the local newspaper that um, the dolphins caretakers feel a deep sense of loss and the beluga whales uh, care team also um, remembering the animal fondly marine land saying that autopsies are being done on the animals or were done um, as required by law and a spokesperson told the local paper that these deaths were likely due to old age um, this is the third death of an animal at marine land in recent months in march um, kiska who was a killer whale also died that was the last killer whale in captivity in canada now from the government's perspective what we know from the solicitor general um, they say they were made aware of the deaths by marine land again as required their animal welfare services division and they say that they continue to conduct compliance inspections here at marine land to determine if the standards of care are being met and as previously shown they won't hesitate to issue orders if they find that marine land is not in compliance with the regulations heather and Megan, in terms of reaction, I mentioned some who are concerned about animal welfare. Some of those activists are really uh, calling for the owners to be held to account. What is the reaction that you're getting there today? There are animal rights groups who have long complained about marine land and launched formal complaints. Um, so no surprise they're reacting to these recent deaths. The group, for example, World Animal Protection, um, one of their spokespeople saying that there needs to be more transparency and accountability for animal deaths, uh, that these latest ones raise questions around the well-being of the rest of the animals here at marine land. And they're calling on the provincial government to launch an investigation into these two two deaths um, and saying that the government needs stronger regulations and stronger enforcement. Heather, some of these um, animal rights activists who are not happy with marine land planned on holding, plan on holding a demonstration here later this month on May 20th. That's when the park opens to the public. It's not open right now to tourists. It's still closed for the winter season, but that's when it's due to reopen. Megan, thank you very much. In Niagara Falls, Ontario, with the latest Welcome. out of marine land.